Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling an epic what-if scenario that has been on the minds of many fans. What would happen if Vega and Drogon, two of the most powerful dragons in Westeros's history, came face to face in a battle? It's an imaginary showdown since these mighty dragons existed in different eras, but it's a fun thought experiment nonetheless. So let's dive in and see who would come out on top in this epic battle of the dragons. Let's start by getting to know our contenders a little better. Vhagar was one of the most fearsome dragons in the history of Westeros. She was born during Aegon's conquest and was ridden by Visenya Targaryen, Aegon the Conqueror's sister wife. Vhagar fought in numerous battles, including the War for the Stepstones and the Dance of the Dragons, where she was ridden by Prince Aemon Targaryen. By the time of the Dance of the Dragons, Vega was one of the oldest and largest dragons, second only to Beleriand the Black Dread. Drogon, on the other hand, is the most famous dragon of the modern era, hatched by Daenerys Targaryen at the end of Game of Thrones Season 1. Named after Daenerys' late husband, Khal Drogo, Drogon quickly became her most trusted and powerful companion. Dragon was the largest and most formidable of Daenerys' three dragons and played a pivotal role in her campaign to reclaim the Iron Throne. His size, strength and fierce loyalty made him a force to be reckoned with in every battle he fought. When it comes to sheer size, Vega has the edge. By the time of the Dance of the Dragons, Vega was an ancient dragon and her size reflected that. She was one of the largest dragons in history, second only to Beleriand. Vhagar's wingspan could cast a shadow over entire towns, and her fire was hot enough to melt stone. Her immense size and power were demonstrated in several key battles, where she easily overpowered younger, smaller dragons. Drogon, while enormous in his own right, would likely be dwarfed by Vhagar. Although Drogon was depicted as larger than a dragon of his age should be, he was still not as large as Vhagar in her prime. Drogon's fire was deadly, and he could easily lay waste to armies and fortresses, but in a direct size comparison, Vhagar would likely have the upper hand. Experience in battle is another crucial factor to consider. Vhagar was a seasoned war dragon, having fought in Aegon's conquest, the Faith Militant Uprising, and numerous battles during the Dance of the Dragons. Her experience on the battlefield was unmatched, and she had gone up against other dragons, including some of the most powerful in Westeros. Dragon, while fierce and powerful, had less battle experience compared to Vhagar. Dragon participated in several significant battles, including the attack on the Lannister forces in the Loot Train battle, the Battle of Winterfell against the Night King's army, and the destruction of King's Landing. However, these battles were against human forces and the undead, not other dragons. Dragon did fight his brother Viserion, but that skirmish was brief, and not on the scale of the epic dragon battles Vhagar participated in. Vega was known for her aggressive and fierce temperament. She was a battle-hardened dragon, and her aggression was legendary. In the Dance of the Dragons, Vega showed no mercy, whether it was burning castles or fighting other dragons. Her fierce nature made her a terrifying opponent on the battlefield. Drogon, while aggressive when provoked, had a strong bond with Daenerys that often tempered his aggression. Drogon's loyalty to Daenerys meant that he was more controlled in battle, focusing on protecting her and following her commands. However, when unleashed, Drogon's fury was devastating, as seen in the burning of King's Landing. Drogon's temperament was fierce, but his connection to Daenerys sometimes made him more focused on her protection than pure destruction. When it comes to firepower, both dragons are formidable. Vega's fire was known to be incredibly hot and destructive. She could melt stone, and her breath could incinerate entire armies. Her firepower was one of the reasons she was so feared during her time. Drogon's fire was also immensely powerful, capable of destroying entire fleets and reducing massive fortresses to rubble. However, there's no clear evidence that Drogon's fire was hotter or more destructive than Vega's. In terms of firepower, it's likely that both dragons are fairly evenly matched, though Vega's larger size might give her a slight advantage in terms of the scale of destruction she could cause. So who would win in a battle between Vegar and Drogon? It's a tough call, and the outcome would depend on several factors. If we're talking about raw power, size and experience, Vega likely has the upper hand. Her immense size and extensive battle experience would make her a formidable opponent, and she could likely overpower Drogon in a direct confrontation. However, Drogon's advantage lies in his agility and his bond with Daenerys, Drogon, being younger, might be faster and more manoeuvrable in the air, allowing him to evade some of Vega's attacks. 
his fierce loyalty to Daenerys would also drive him to fight with everything he has, making him a tenacious opponent. In an all-out battle, it's likely that Vega would emerge victorious, but it would not be an easy fight. Dragon's agility and ferocity would make him a challenging adversary, and the battle would likely leave both dragons severely wounded. Fagar's superior size and experience would ultimately give her the edge, but Drogon would go down fighting, and it's possible he could inflict significant damage on Fagar in the process. In the end, while Vega would likely win in a battle against Drogon, it would be a close and brutal fight. This what-if scenario is a fascinating way to explore the strengths and weaknesses of these two legendary dragons, and while they never met in the lore, Imagining their showdown gives us a deeper appreciation of their place in Westeros history. What do you think? Who would win in a battle between Vega and Drogon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of Westeros. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.